Women's basketball take on Plymouth State University to close out girls and women in sports week in Beaconville. We had a delay early on as a pipe burst in the Clark Athletic Center. You see Bobby Beacon there entertaining the fans. And we would have basketball shortly after this. And it would be raining threes on the court for both teams in the first quarter. Sarah Sweet nails a three for Plymouth State early on. And then Sunny Green responds with one of her own to tie it up at six in the first quarter. It would be then Meg Dixon. Nailing one from the corner, and the Beacons just like that, up by five after a mini run there. And then Sophie George responds yet again. We're tied up at 14 all. And before the first quarter ran, it would be Alexa Potter with this layup from Dixon's lob inside. Beacons up by three, heading into the second. We head right to the second half, and Dixon, another three from up top. She hit four on the afternoon of the 10 she attempted, and Paige Olivia, another one would be hitting threes from the corner and all over the place in this game. Olivia, three for nine from three-point range. She finished with 12 points and nine rebounds, just shy of her first career double-double. Dixon, once again, is going to hit one of her four threes here. She finished with 21 points and 11 rebounds, another double-double for her. And then how about the Tatiana Fevry and Sabela Jensen connection? Back and forth, these two would go in the fourth quarter. Fevry from Jensen there gets the and one opportunity. And then Jensen from Fevry lays it up and in. The Beacons up by 20 plus points. And then once again, Fevry to Jensen lays it up and in. The Beacons are going to win this one big, not without an exclamation point to cap it all off. Emily Garufi off the bench with the three pointer puts the Beacons up big, and they will go on to win this one 73 to 42 over Plymouth State. The Beacons. Going to close out their two-game homestand on Wednesday night at 5.30, taking on Castleton University, a big Little East Conference matchup, a team they lost to earlier this year in overtime on the road by 10.